Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we'll be doing a poured painting. I wanted to do something fun for Memorial Day, which by the way, happy Memorial Day. Or if you don't celebrate Memorial Day, then happy Monday. Uh, but today I just thought we'd do something fun and do a little bit of a, an, uh, a poured painting. Uh, we're going to be using gloss enamel, which is essentially a high gloss house paint. So if you have any liquid acrylic or house paint, you can actually do this type of painting. Just thought it'd be kind of fun. So I've got a wooden star here and on top I've got this nice little cookie cutter and it's also a star. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, mix the paints and then put them into the star and then pull it off and see what kind of effect we get. So I've already got my paints mixed here. I've got, you know, a medium blue, actually probably closer to a dark blue, dark blue and uh, a vibrant red and then a white. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and just pour some of our colors into this cup. And I hope that I mixed enough. I'm not an expert on these poured paintings, so I couldn't say um, if I if I got enough paint. I'm, I'm really hoping so, but we'll kind of find out as we go. So I'm just kind of trying to layer the paints here without mixing them. Although it looks like they're starting to kind of mix, which it actually looks pretty cool. So it's got a nice little design in it already. All right, so let's go ahead and add our final layers here. We'll just scrape that paint right out of there. All right, and we'll set that aside. And then we'll kind of do our white or red here. I don't know, my colors. And scrape that out of there. Set that aside. And finally, our white. So let's see if we can kind of layer this on top. Now it looks like it just wants to sink to the bottom. <laughs> and these paints are, are slightly diluted. So on these paints, I have only added just a couple of drops of water, not a lot at all. And so we can set that aside. So I'm actually going to zoom in. I'm going to take a picture here because I think that this would probably make a good thumbnail, right? I've got that. I've got that. So got a good thumbnail going. Okay, so now that we've got that, we uh, kind of get a good zoom here and uh, we'll do our painting. So we're gonna pour it into the star here and just gonna lift it up. And it looks like um, it may not cover all of the ends. So I'm just gonna keep kind of pouring here in the middle and see how it goes. So it's gonna go off the edges here, it looks like. So we're gonna to try to tilt that forward and cover the end. All right. Now we'll kind of cover this end here. Perfect. And now we'll kind of cover this end down here. It does have a pretty cool uh, look on it already. I think that's uh, that's pretty cool. It almost looks like like a flag or something. All right, so maybe we can kind of help this paint here by pushing it along and covering it. We're gonna add a we're gonna add some more uh, to it so that we can kind of make sure that this whole thing gets covered. All right, so it looks like it's kind of losing a little bit of steam. So we'll just add a little bit more here. And we'll pull that down to the end. Okay. And the final corner here. Just give it a little, little extra just to make sure. And done. Okay, so obviously we've got our thumbprint here. So we're gonna kind of add some more 
to try to cover that up. And we'll just kind of swirl this around. And it looks like there's something in there. I think I got it. Always tends to get something in, in these paints. Okay, so I do still have some paint here and I'm not sure if just putting it in the middle will um, just sit in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of it on here. And we'll tilt this bad boy and kind of see what kind of final design we get here. We'll kind of move it around a little quickly. Okay, I really like that marble look there. All right, I think I'm gonna call it good. Um, I really like kind of the marbling look that it has. And while it's still kind of dripping, um, I'm gonna go over the edges just to kind of clean them up. So I'm going to grab a little stick here and we're going to clean these edges up. Now it's going to continue to drip. That's fine. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is just to kind of even them out. And then the back, I would actually just paint uh, black. All right. And that's it, guys. That is the whole thing. I kind of want to show you the... Uh, cup because the cup looks pretty cool um, there's like a nice swirling on the side of the cup I know it's just a cup but I think it looks kind of cool anyway let's go ahead and take this bad boy off of our tripod oh, there we go and there's our final thing I think uh, overall it looks pretty cool it's got a nice little swirl design here down to the edges um, it's fun. I think it's kind of a fun little thing. Uh, it's an easy thing that you could do, you know, with kids um, or if you're just kind of bored or, you know, want some, some cool decorations that you can make pretty easily. I think that this is kind of the way to go. So that's it for the video, guys. Um, just a simple one. Kim wanted to just kind of do something different and a little fun. And uh, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, whether it's a holiday or not. Um, just have a good Monday because you deserve it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. Bye, guys.